Let's review the Kick Scooter Max G30P in cold conditions as it became one of the best electric scooters. Let's review its build quality first. It has an extra wide 10 inch pneumatic tire which offers better stability for riders on all terrains. The handlebar is also adjustable to fit different heights and the brakes are also very responsive and easy to control. Additionally, it has a rear shock absorber system making it easier to absorb bumps in the pavement or other obstacles on the road. The frame and body are made of durable aluminum alloy which helps provide better resistance to corrosion and wear. Additionally, it has a built-in LED light system that provides visibility while riding in low light conditions or darkness. All these features make the Segway 9 Bot Kick Scooter Max an ideal choice for those who want a reliable, comfortable and safe scooter. Well, it has a built-in Bluetooth connection so riders can easily pair their phone with the scooter to access its various settings and functions. It also has an intuitive LCD display that provides real-time metrics such as speed, battery life, and remaining range. Furthermore, it has a cruise control option that allows riders to maintain a steady speed without having to constantly adjust the throttle. The Segway 9 Bot Kick Scooter Max also has an anti-theft alarm system that can be activated from the LCD display or a paired smartphone app. Well, how to ride the Segway 9 Bot Max G30P? All controls are concentrated on the steering wheel. On the right gas, on the left, the brake arm and a mechanical bell. The onboard computer display is placed in the center. At the top of the screen displayed the current speed, then the driving modes and various indicators such as Bluetooth, headlight blocking, overheating and multifunctions. Well, if I talk about its performance and range, well, the main features of the Sigma 9 Bot Max is the large 15,000 mAh battery. To put a battery of such capacity, the vendor had to depart from the usual way of battery placing in the steering rack. Now, it is installed in the deck. This decision seriously reduced the ground clearance. Therefore, while driving, every now and then you touch the ramps with the lower part small curbs and line policemen. The power supply is now integrated into the body of the electric scooter. On the one hand, you do not need to search for a place in the backpack for charging. On the other hand, the solution increases the already consider considerable weight of the kick scooter. Autonomy of two-wheel device was tested at 7 degrees with activated sport mode and with an 80 kg rider at the wheel. The manufacturer promises a range of 65 km. It is clear that the designers got such a great result in idle conditions by analogy with the packs for fuel consumption of cars. In fact, the gadget drove 30 km and 400 meters. But it should be taken into account that in the cold lithium ion batteries, hold their charge 20% worse on average. So in the warm season, in the don't deny war yourself anything mode, you can safely count on 35 to 40 km of mileage with your sockets. From 0 to 100%, Segway 9 Bot Max G30P, time to recharge in 6 hours, connectors for charging are located on the side of the deck as you can see they are covered with a sealed rubber plug so you don't have to worry about driving through paddles. So the Kick Scooter Max G30P is fast, safe and soft on the move. The manufacturer has seriously worked on the autonomy of the novelty through the detriment of the lightness of design. On a single charge, the scooter can travel twice as far as the average competitor if you work is no further than 20 kilometers from home. 
Nine but Max can become your painful, faithful companion there and back. Moreover, as it turned out, it is quite possible to operate an e scooter in slight minus temperature in the absence of snow. But don't forget that in such an environment, the range decreases. Well, that's all for my today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then do like, share, and subscribe to my channel and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, I will describe or add a card on the top of my video that how it performs on winter streets. Thanks for watching.